Hello everybody, welcome to the third round playoff. Uh, everyone's life on the line at this stage. We've got manager one in blue is Aureolensis. And manager two is Seabraws with his lizard men here. He's, his interesting wrinkle is sneaky git over a block. Um, pretty standard from Aureolensis. Guard, wrestle, jugs, size up two heads. This is the KFOG build, basically. This is what KFOG said. Um, it's what I would have taken had I done Thunderworld, but uh, I didn't. Stiletto, so he's got a little stabber there. Yeah, games that matter is what it's all about, isn't it? Like having a, the league games are pretty cool, aren't they? This is a little bit risky, isn't it, having the rogue run the LOS here? Um, could get, could get, blitzed into a mega gang foul. If that's the way Seabros wants to play it, or he can just fall down because it wasn't a blitz and cas himself. <laughs> instant, instant apo fail. Seabros apples his uh, his Crocs. Wowie. Unbelievable. And that exposes the guard, I guess, to get blitzed. No, nope, the wrestler. <laughs> wrestler gets KO'd as well. Then we've got the mid the mid turn stand up. Absolutely terrible play there. Um you know, pioneered by Jimmy Fantastic, but perfected by C Rolls. Yeah, like, you know, we all do that, right? We all just make some blocks with block and then do the stand-ups. But, you know, the, you really should be doing those stand-ups first, right? Well, Zeros has the ball. <laughs> and has, basically, all his entire team locked down by strength four players. Not the best. We're dedicating three dice to this. Which is probably correct, isn't it? It's a bit of a commitment, but probably worth it. Good afternoon, Beard G. Double one's the pickup. Uh oh. Rot oh. Well, it, oh, it's not a pal. Okay. I'm surprised he doesn't. Oh, no, no, he wants to blitz with block. That's not how I'd have done it. I would have blocked with the other guy. To free up the block to go and hit the uh, gutter. Oh, there's a free, there's a free blocker anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. GFI to hit with block. Might stand on the ball though, mightn't it? Besides, to, might scatter the ball, but who cares? You've got skins. Yeah, it's, you've got a GFI to hit the gutter, right? It's probably the only chance you'll get to hit it. Well, I mean, not if he's Mr. Page and he never gets his armor broken, ever. He doesn't get his armor broken. And uh, then gets a Snotling KO. So we're going to go for the Scatter here, I think. Okay, three tackle zones isn't ideal, is it? I guess you could uphill to make it two tackle zones, or you could just go for the five plus pickup. Just goes for the five plus pickup and gets it. No, yeah, I mean, obviously, Paige's armor broke, just not on his gutter runner ever, was it? That was the, that was the thing. His, his gutter runner was invincible. He just exposed it every chance he got, and it just never failed. Interesting, I think I would have dodged the goblin there first, but uh, obviously he fails and cases himself. Was that the guard? You can be my wingman any time. No, Bullshit. the guard is over here. Ah, oh, Inarian with a massive raid. Thank you very much, Inarian. Welcome, Inarian viewers. 
We've got Seabros versus Aurelensis is it. Surprising there, going for the safer play, you know, hitting the deep field penetration rather than just uh, trying to close in and get the gutter again. Playing it safe. Playing it safe is Seabros. Like, you know, he could have tried to get a Crocs on the ball or something, right? I guess there's no point getting the crocs involved because he's got two heads. <laughs> there's literally no point. So just plays it a bit safe. I like that, just double tag the uh, snotling so that you're not giving anything away really. Does the blitz and gets nothing. Follows. The follow is risque, isn't it? And then double ones the snot link dodge into self removal. <laughs> okay. I'm not I don't really like this. I think the crocs is better in here, right? Here. Because he's got sidestep and he's got two heads. So really having the crocs back there is irrelevant. Maybe just get it in on here, so you're on both. Oh my god, well there you go. This did not happen to Mr. Page's gutter. And he's conceded. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, three cars, a bunch of KOs. And honestly, conceding in this is fine, isn't it? Conceding is totally fine. Because there's no... Uh, there's no... There's no progression or anything, you know. He's not costing Seabros anything by, by conceding. He's not compromising the integrity of the tournament. Um, I mean, it wasn't hopeless, right? There was a chance in the same way as PC has a chance with Angelina Jolie or, uh, you know, Blood Bowl 3 has a chance of being a good game eventually. Um, but, you know, uh, it wasn't a good chance. So, <laughs> yeah, well done, Seabros. Congratulations, Seabros makes it to the uh, fourth round and Aurel Enceseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseseses